really stay in the race. That's what our Marissa Thomas is looking into tonight. So what are local uh, analysts and party leaders saying here? Good evening, Lisa and Caleb. I spoke with Gannon University Professor Jeff Lubworth and Republican Chair Tom Eddy tonight about what the recent results of the South Carolina primary mean and how Haley staying in the primaries makes an impact on the political landscape. After Nikki Haley lost the primary in South Carolina, she vowed to stay in till Super Tuesday, where 16 states will hold their primaries. Tom Eddy, chairman of Erie County Republican Party, says he doesn't see a path to nomination for Haley. She doesn't seem to show that she's got the backing of any, I mean, enough people to reverse any of the states. Though Haley lost soundly to Trump in the state she used to be governor in, Gannon Professor Jeff Bloodworth says it's worth recognizing she still received nearly 40 percent of the vote. What this tells us, I think, is that there is a, a, a sizable minority of Republicans who don't want Trump. And if you look at the, the exit polls, a, a significant majority of Haley voters, right, whether it, you know, it's New Hampshire or South Carolina say they will not vote for Donald Trump. Eddie says he thinks Haley should drop out and that she's staying simply because she has the funds to do so. I mean, her, her reasoning is this, this is not a communist country. People should have a choice. Well, the people for the last couple of months have made a choice and she's just not, she's just not trying to recognize that choice. Um, and I think that she's staying only because she has enough cash on hand to be able to stay. Bloodworth says while Haley won't beat Trump, she is getting her name out there for a possible future campaign in 2028. And if she is a strong critic of Trump, she's going to be the person who is going to be the successor in 28. So all of her um, kind of political advantage is not in dropping out. She has plenty of money. Nobody drops out with all kinds of money. She's staying in. To stay in and make it a contest, candidate Nikki Haley needs to win some states and get some momentum. For Pennsylvania Republicans who like Haley, it's not a promising waiting game. Our primary isn't until April 23rd. Live in the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.